Hey everyone, I'm sharing a new personal record with you today. This budget house flip was completed in five weeks and sold within four days of being on the market for well over asking price. We're touring this complete renovation to compare the before and after. And as usual, I'm going to share the house flip numbers at the end of the video. Don't miss it. If you're stopping by for the first time, glad you found my channel. My name is Elisa and I'm a real estate developer in the Bay Area. I've completed almost 50 projects in just five years and I share house flip before and after, home remodeling tips and tricks, and real estate investing how-tos on this channel. Click on the subscribe button below so you are in the loop. I just launched my book titled Flipping Houses Quick Start Guide to teach beginners and help people achieve financial freedom. It's linked in the description below if you're interested. Let's start our tour from the front yard. Unlike most of my projects, the landscaping here was green, lush, and drought resistant even before we started the renovation. All we needed was a little bit trimming. We're so lucky that this tree started blooming right before we put the house on the market, and the magenta color is so beautiful. We focused on making small changes that had a meaningful impact, like removing the fence here, replacing the decorative metal posts, the front door, and the garage door. These small upgrades transform the home from traditional to contemporary. The small plants in the front area didn't cost that much, but they made the front entrance warm and inviting. Welcome inside. We brought new life into this once old-fashioned living room. From top to bottom, we removed the popcorn ceiling that was an eyesore and nobody liked. We added can lights to brighten up the space. We painted the entire interior with this light and soft cream color. The brick fireplace was old and boring. It would definitely look a lot better if we tiled it, but it would also cost a few thousand dollars. On this entry-level flip, I was watching my budget closely and I knew that by painting the fireplace, we could save a lot of money and achieve a polished effect. So it was a no-brainer. In my opinion, the change that made the biggest impact was peeling off the old carpet and refinishing the hardwood floors underneath. I guess 20, 30 years ago, carpet was the fad and a lot of homeowners decided to cover the beautiful hardwood floors with carpet. I was so excited to discover the hardwood floors underneath the carpet in this house by refinishing the hardwood floors, we actually save a lot of money because installing hardwood floors costs about $12 a square foot and refinishing the hardwood floors is only half of the cost. Before I show you more of this budget renovation, smash the like button below and subscribe to the channel to see more interesting content like this. The kitchen was a big reason why we were able to keep the renovation budget low. We were lucky enough to inherit the newer cabinets from a recent renovation by the previous owners, and it saved us about $6,000. New paint and clean line poles gave people an illusion that the cabinets are new. The lighter countertops and tiled backsplash also complete this updated look. We had to replace the white appliances with stainless steel, but it was an easy fix. This huge bonus sunroom is a big selling point of this house because it expands the footprint of this otherwise small house and offers a lot of options. Originally, this room has multiple colors and a dark tone, which makes it an apparent add-on. We came in with the same paint color and a similar floor color to make it blend in better. I asked my stager to stage it as a family room plus office so we can show the buyers the possibilities. This bathroom remodel definitely didn't break the bank. We've seen these 
square shower tiles again and again and depending on the price point of the home and the condition of the tiles, I sometimes replace them with new shower tiles and sometimes I just reglaze it to make it look new. As mentioned before, this home is of a lower price point and these tiles were well kept. So we got to save a few thousand dollars by just refinishing it. This light fixture is less than $40 and the mirror is about a hundred. The prefabricated vanity came with this cultured marble top and it cost about $270. The floor tiles are my new favorite. They are simple yet stylish and they are about 99 cents a square foot, which is an amazing price. Bedroom renovations are usually pretty straightforward. We're in the smallest bedroom of the three and the walls here were originally bluish and the carpet was brown, so they didn't match and we fixed it with consistent paint and floor and made it light and bright. In this second bedroom, we got rid of the bright yellow color and added a closet door. It's staged as a cute girl's room and it feels a lot bigger than before. In this master bedroom, on top of the work we did to the other smaller bedrooms, we added a barn door here to make better use of the small space and add style. This is my first time installing a barn door and I'm a little torn because it's very eye-catching and it gives out a rustic vibe, but functionality-wise, it doesn't give you the privacy that you probably need for a bathroom. What are your thoughts about barn doors? Drop me a comment below. This master bathroom is so tiny, but we couldn't do much about it. We just updated it with modern fixtures and finishes and kept it consistent with the guest bath. Now we're in the backyard. The lot is generously sized, as you can tell from the spaciousness. We had a pretty good foundation here with interesting hardscape and landscape and didn't have to do much. We painted this pergola, got rid of some of the larger plants to have a better sight line. Removing the shed that was over there was an easy decision and it made a huge difference. Now we have this additional space for lounging. Now it's time for a full house walkthrough so you can see the entire renovation. Right after this, I'm going to share the numbers. Don't go anywhere. Now that you've seen the entire renovation, let's talk about the numbers. I purchased this home for around $1 million, put in about $80,000 as budgeted, and my estimated after repair value was $1.4. But with the market shift, it's a little hard to gauge buyer's reaction to a certain property, so I was a little nervous. After we put the house on the market, we had a very busy weekend of showings and great feedback. It almost felt like the market was warming up again, 
but you could definitely sense that the buyers are not as eager as before and they are taking a more conservative approach. Fortunately, we received a non-contingent offer right away for 1.4 million, which was exactly my ARV. I'm very happy about this clean and strong offer that gives me a profit of 160,000. I mentioned earlier that this flip broke a record because it was completed within five weeks, all thanks to my amazing contractor who manages the project diligently so we don't waste any time and we keep the holding cost as low as possible. Escrow is taking about 30 days, which means the total hold time from the close of purchase to the close of sale is only about 10 weeks. In house flipping, time is of the essence, and I would take a short and sweet project like this one over a long and complex project any day. I have quite a few projects in the pipeline and two more homes coming on the market in just a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for more exciting before and after videos. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.